What's going on, everybody? Lil' Chris here, and welcome back to another episode of Pool Talk. Now, it's a little difficult at this point in time for me to be able to interview anybody with the current situation that our world is in. So instead, I thought I'd try to answer a question that's been asked of me a couple of times, and that's what my advice is on purchasing a pool cue for the first time. But instead of sitting in front of the camera just sharing my opinions, I put together this little skit that I hope you can enjoy that also kind of illustrates my point. So check this out, and we'll talk a little bit more afterwards. Round one, fight!
round four. Fight! Win. Perfect. So I hope you enjoyed that little skit as I was being reminiscent of my days playing Street Fighter 2 back when I was in middle school and high school. But the point that I'm trying to make is that the quality and the materials that go into a pool cue play a very small role to the skill level of the player. You just got done watching me break and run four different racks of nine ball with four different cues at a wide range of prices. And each one of those cues are made with different materials. They all weigh differently, have different sizes in the diameter of the shaft, and have different tips on them. Now they all hit and feel different from one another. But it's up to me as the player to be able to adjust to how those cues feel so that I can execute each shot correctly. Now I could sit here and tell you all day long about how great and wonderful my cues are. But you can eventually ask another player and there'll be something about my cues that makes them not so great to them. That could be the tip, the shaft, the weight, how the cue looks, heck, even the name brand of the cue. Which is why most of the time, whenever you ask a player what name brand do they recommend, you're more than likely going to hear a different answer each and every time. So how does that help you in choosing a cue that's right for you? Well, again, in my opinion, I think there are at least three factors that go into selecting a cue. The first one is going to be how the cue looks, meaning the design that's actually in the butt of the cue. Because if the cue doesn't look good to you, you're certainly not going to want to buy it. The second, I think, is going to be the shaft. You certainly don't want to buy a cue if it has a warped shaft on it. And the third most important thing is going to be the price of the cue because you want to be able to afford it which is why the majority of the time whenever I'm asked what name brand do I recommend, I tend to lean towards the player's cue. It's of my opinion that the player's name brand has a wide variety of affordable cues that can actually last you quite a long time. Now they're not the only ones that are out there, but they're certainly at the top of my recommendation list. Other name brands would be like Action or Dufferin or maybe even Viper and a couple of other ones. Now before I go, there is something I want to warn you about that I think will happen to you as a pool player because it's happened to me and I've seen it happen to other players as well. And that's as you journey through this game, you're going to meet a lot of different players and run across a lot of different cues. And sometimes a player might be nice enough and allow you to hit a ball with their cue. And at some point in time, you're going to acknowledge that whatever name brand you just hit with is much better than yours and that's going to want to make you upgrade. Not only are you going to want to upgrade to the name brand that you just hit with, you're also going to want to make sure that the new cue that you buy is very different from everybody else's 
because you want to be unique and be the only player with that particular cue. And that uniqueness is what you're ultimately going to end up paying for. So I hope you enjoyed and found this video helpful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Take care, everybody.